Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and answer a question which nobody has really asked. Which is more important, the rock or the bishop? Now, chess masters are always bleating on about how rocks are the most important thing in the world next to a queen. And generally, bishops are not so useful because they only work on certain coloured squares. So, let's see what happens when you have one opponent who moves their rooks and another opponent who um, doesn't move the rooks at all. <coughs> I'm white at the bottom and my opponent is black, okay? I'm referring to the pieces. I've no idea what the um, ethnicity is of my player in real life, okay? The person I was playing with, but never mind. Um, let's see what happens. The trick is appearing to play badly on purpose. Now around here, this is where, um, for some weird reason, black decides to castle. Yes, they did it exactly there. I couldn't remember, but they did it exactly there. Why? I have no idea. Everybody has this ridiculous obsession with castling, which in my view is often utterly stupid. But um, there you go, that's what you get for reading lots and lots of books. More on that in a moment. I decide to do a knight exchange. They take the knight with the queen. Now, this is where they make a terrible blunder. And either they know something I don't, or knew something I don't, or what they did was an absolute catastrophe. Now, I moved um, my bishop to attack the queen. It was blankly obvious. It was right next to the queen. So they couldn't possibly have missed this. For some strange reason, they moved their bishop out of the way. Why, I honestly haven't got a clue. It makes no sense whatsoever. But there you go. Not surprisingly, I took the bishop, the queen, the bishop. They took um, my bishop with a pawn. I took my pawn with the queen. Now, so far that's the first use of the bishop. It was used to attack the queen and take it. Now, I admit that's a major blunder, but we won't worry about that for now. That's a blunder by my opponent. We won't worry about it for now. They then can see straight away that I was going to try and take their rook off. So they move their rook out of the way to protect it. First use of the move of the rook. I moved my knight. I can't remember exactly why I was doing this now, but I know I had a reason. They then move their rook to try and attack my queen. I move... my queen to temporary safety but it doesn't look like it's going to be very safe but it will do for now for some reason they then move the pawn why i have no idea but i believe they want to try and turn it into a queen i now take the pawn and i'm now fairly safe my queen is now fairly safe comparatively okay now, I'm now going to do some things which are going to appear to be very strange. They then take um, my pawn with their pawn.
I don't even try and do anything about it. I move the queen to try and attack the bishop. Although I didn't know it at the time, the move I've done is far cleverer than even I ever imagined. They now move their bishop to attack my queen. I now do something that looks incredibly innocent, but is extremely lethal. I move the queen here. It just seems to be out of the way, but all is not quite what it seems. The next thing they do is take my pawn with their pawn. I now do something that seems totally stupid and apparently completely pointless. I move a pawn up. It seems fairly innocent, it's just a pawn. Next, they decided to try take uh, my pawn with their pawn. Now, you might think I would take this pawn with the bishop, but no, that is not what I want to do at all. I want to keep the bishop where it is for now. Instead, and you would think this would be beneficial because if I did that later, I could then take off the bishop with the knight, so, but I'm not bothered about taking the bishop, that's not my priority at this time. I just hope they're not too clever and notice too much. I next instead take off the pawn with the knight. At this point, everything looks fairly innocent at this point, but I want to keep the um, bishop there temporarily. The next thing they did was move their knight. Why? I have absolutely no idea. But I'm sure they're planning something strange. But what? I have no idea. I then do something that seems incredibly innocent. I just move a bishop out of the way. It doesn't look that lethal at this point. You will notice at this point I have not moved any of either of my rooks at all during the entire game. I've also not moved the king at any point in the entire game. I have also not castled at any point in the entire game. Now, for some reason, my opponent then moved their rook. Again, proving that this wasn't a forced move, they didn't have to move the rook. Um, there were other alternatives, but they personally, for their own reason, chose to move the rook. So, I believe what they intended to do was at some point move this bishop out the way, do something that they thought might be potentially lethal, while forcing me to go into check. Then I would have to move the king somewhere, and then they then thought maybe they could do some strange attacks with their bishops. Quite what, I don't know. And we will never ever find out what they ever intended to do. Because, as I said, moving this bishop was more lethal than moving either of the rocks. The next move, checkmate. With just a queen 
and the bishop. Now I admit they made some blunders, they probably played simply, they probably didn't fully know what they were doing and I probably didn't make the best moves either if I tried to analyse some things more deeply. Maybe going back a bit, something that they could have worried about early, later maybe was me moving this knight to here which would then mean I could use, they could take that or that. And that may have been something that they were worried about. Maybe they were worried about me moving a knight here and then, then being able to take, then later being able to take this or this. And maybe that was what they were concerned about, having thought about this. They may have been concerned, done that, to stop me doing that because, you see, if I do that normally, there's nothing to stop it. But if they move their bishop here, then if I do this, they can then take off the knight and because it's check immediately I cannot take the bishop up so then I would be forced to move the king I'd be forced to move the king there, or, the, or there. You can't move it there, or there, or there. So can you move it there, or there? I could then move there, forcing me to go either here or here. Or here. I'm not sure what would happen after that because um, again I, I would have got checkmate straight away so I could have got out of it again with checkmate but um, that was probably their thinking their thinking was probably trying to Their aim was probably to try and stop me moving the knight to um, stop me take off a, a bishop or a rook. But it didn't work because basically the next move, checkmate. So there you go guys. Um, using bishops effectively but, and not using the rooks at all versus using the rooks and the bishops perhaps not as effectively and why i still think castling is often a mistake because if they hadn't castled they wouldn't have been pinned in in that particular position okay thanks for watching guys bye